what's going on guys, this is Sam and today we are going to talk about the correct way to use the adjustment layer for your LUT and all of your color grading. So without any BSing to do, let us go into Final Cut Pro and we'll basically use the clip that I took of this restaurant and we'll go over the color grading process. So with the adjustment layer, a lot of the time when you shoot in s 3 which is this is the, the format that I ran with at the time, it's really desaturated because that is how s lock are supposed to look like. <laughs> in order for you to recover the data and to make sure that your video looks better than normal video if you were to take it normally because there are so much more data on S-Log footages. But a lot of the time, people use S-Log and they do not know how to color grade it. So that is why I'm going to share with all of you about how to use adjustment layer correctly and to edit the S-Log footage. So as you can see here, there are two adjustment layers that I have on this clip. Um, I will expand it a bit. So we have the one in the bottom and the one in, on the top. When you're starting out, you might think that this doesn't really make a difference, but it does make a huge difference. Whether you want to put the master color corrector tool on top or in the bottom, or whether you want to put the LUT in the top and the bottom, these all matters, and I'm going to share with you guys. So let us go into the bottom layer, which is this one, and let's see the effect. On the last layer, we have the LUT itself. I use a LUT from LD, Golden Age 1. So basically, if you were to build a tree, build a tree out of this color grading tool, the LUT itself is used at the end part of your entire color grading process, at the end, the roots of it. And that is why you see that when you click on the last adjustment layer, which is below the top one, you will see the LUT being at the bottom of the root of the tree. And going one level above that is the conversion LUT, which I use in order to convert my s lock footage to a somewhat usable footage. So if I were to turn that on, if I were to press V, you'll see that the entire thing changed drastically. So let me just turn off my LUT, which is at the root of the tree, and you'll see that there's slight changes because I set it to 45%. If I were to turn it on, you'll see a minor change between the before and after. So to make the video a bit more clearer, I will basically turn the mix all to 100%. And if I were to take my LUT and put it above the conversion LUT, watch what happened. It all looked very weird, as you can see. Basically, it looks a bit purpley because it's not correctly color graded. Let me use an example with this LUT which is a dark shadow LUT. If I were to put the conversion LUT at the end of the roots of the tree, it would look somewhat bad and unusable. But if I were to change the direction and put it down below, you'll see it get better, as you can see. And with some slight tweak here and there, BAM! The footage gets 100% better than before. Whereas before, it's very dark, and if you try to play around by upping the brightness a bit, the footage will have a lot of noise, and that is why sometimes you should at a very perfect condition with correct ISO, correct lighting, but your footage still turns out noisy. It's because of how you color corrected it, or because the way you color graded it and the, the, the way you use adjustment layer is incorrect. So that is how you do it correctly in terms of adjusting the LUT and the conversion LUT. So let's me undo that to my previous adjustment. Let us talk about the adjustment layer above the conversion and the color LUT. And that is basically the color wheel and also the hue and saturation curve. So if I were to turn that on, you'll see that the footage gets a blue cinematic vibe, which is something that I wanted for the video because it's dark and I want to make it a bit cool for the video to look more cinematic. And the same goes for this. You have to make sure that the color wheel a lot of the time stays on top of everything because the color wheel is like your master adjustment tool in terms of color correcting. And if you were to put it below either the, the LUT that you have for your video or the conversion LUT, there will be noises because you're not actually doing the color correcting on the raw footage, but rather you're doing the color correcting after the fact that you have inserted the LUT and the conversion LUT inside the video. And that is why it is really important to have that knowledge of adjustment layer because a lot of the time with my juniors, they record videos at a perfect condition, but the video still came out noisy because they didn't really use the right method to use a conversion LUT or basically to use the adjustment layer. And another example, if I were to take the color wheel and hue and saturation adjustment layer and put it at the bottom, let me show you. Bam! It's really weird. It become all greenish because it's not color corrected correctly. One thing for you guys, if you're color doing color grading and suddenly you're noticing a lot of noise and the video color is weird, it's not because of your skill, it's just because of the simple mistake that you made. So yeah, hopefully this video has been useful for you guys. If it is, make sure you drop a like down below and comment if you want to see other tutorial on other aspects regarding color grading and other things related to Final Cut Pro or DaVinci da Resolve. With that being said, thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you all in the next video. Thank, goodbye and peace.